वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंड ऑफ फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इक्वेल एंड रेजिस्टेंस कैलकुलेशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डिपेंडेंट एंड इंडिपेंडेंट वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड करंट सोर्स सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू फर्स्ट वॉट विल हैपन विथ इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेज एज इफ इट इज गिवन टू यू इन सर्किट एंड यू आर डील विथ टू फाइंड equivalent resistance see as if you are having independent source independent source means voltage source could be 5 voltage 10 voltage right it is there in terms of value current source is maybe there in terms of 1 ampere 5 ampere so it is independent its value is constant so if that is connected in circuit and you are deal with to find value of equivalent resistance then my dear students consider voltage sources as short circuited and current sources as open circuited and then you can redraw the circuit and then you can find equivalent resistance right but when it comes to dependent source at that time all you need to do is you'll have to connect battery at a terminal where we are deal with to measure resistance and then we have to find value of resistance as per voltage of that battery divided by current generated by that battery and then you will be having equivalent resistance so for that i have made three examples in this video so that you can have idea like how to solve equivalent resistance based on dependent source and independent source right so here you can observe with this circuit we are deal with to find equivalent resistance and here i'm having current source and this current source is having value of 4 ampere right and this is independent current source so as i have said that current source that should be open circuited so as if this is open circuited right so you can say that this 5 ohm 5 ohm and 5 ohm that is there in series right so as 5 ohm 5 ohm 5 ohm that is there in series r a b that is 5 plus 5 plus 5 that is 15 ohm right so this is how simply we can find value of equivalent resistance let me give you second problem so now you can observe here we are having a circuit which is there with 6 voltage battery over here and we are deal with to find equivalent resistance in between terminal a and terminal b so when you solve problem with independent source see this is constant voltage source so for voltage source here we should be considering this voltage source as a short circuit when you calculate equivalent resistance right so voltage source that should be considered as short circuited so now what i'll do is i'll short circuit this so as if this is short circuited you can say that this 5 ohm that is getting short circuited so i can say that now this 5 ohm that is there in series with this 5 ohm so r ab that is 5 plus 5 means 10 ohm right so my dear students all you need to do is you will have to short circuit voltage source and open circuit current source but remember this is what applicable for independent source for constant sources right let me give you one more question that is based on dependent source so here you can observe in third question we are having similar circuit but in that you see here i am having current source and that is having value i by 4 and current i that is happening over here so whenever a dependent source is there at that time you will have to connect battery over here so let me connect one battery over here let us say this battery is having voltage v with plus minus polarity like this what will happen there will be a current that will go in this direction and you see that current is i so i'm saying this current is i so here equivalent resistance r a b that is voltage by current right so this is the basic process that you will have to follow 
you'll have to connect a battery whatever current induced by that battery let us say that is i so v by i that will be rab so this process that you'll have to repeat every time connect battery at load and then find the value of v divided by current generated by that battery right so here let us try to solve this circuit further so here you see through this phi ohm current is i and this current that is bisected into i by 4 so obviously over here current will be 3 i by 4 so total current will be i over here right and again here current is i so now i have the value of current through all the resistor right so all i can do is i can apply kvl in this loop so if i apply kvl in this loop i can have the value of ratio v by i so you see here voltage source is connected over here and that is happening from minus to plus in this loop so as it is happening from minus to plus i should be considering plus v over here and that is equals to potential drop across all the elements so potential drop across phi ohm resistor over here that is phi into i so let me write phi into i plus potential drop across this phi ohm resistor that is phi into 3i by 4 so i am writing that is phi into 3i by 4 plus potential drop across this phi ohm resistor that is phi into i in this loop so that is phi into i in this loop so i can say that here v is equals to now see i is common so here 5 plus 5 10 plus 15 divided by 4 that i am having so i can say that v by i that is equals to r a b and that is 10 plus 15 by 4 so 40 plus 15 that is 55 divided by 4 ohm so that is how we can be able to solve problems now see why i am explaining you this the reason is whenever you will be studying equivalent circuit of Thevenin's theorem and Norton's theorem at that time these fundamentals are very essential and that is where there will be complexity of solving questions so you should be aware about this and that's why I have made this video I hope you have understood this still if you have any queries just place that in comment box I'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video